And one of the cool things now is that if I go and create a form for um, one of these uh, uh, tables, if I create a form for this table, uh, let's just go ahead and create a form. See, I just pressed one button when I was on this tables button, the form button, and it automatically created this tape this form for me it's a form with um, my contact information and all the visits that they've had so far uh, that's pretty fast work I would say uh, let's go ahead and look at this right now it's in what's called layout view and this is something kind of new to access it's like a uh, an auto form building type view where you can move uh, pieces around. Um, you can move like fields up and down where you see this orange bar moves around. And if I move it, it'll move a, a value and I don't want to do that, so I'll just press Control Z. Um, it's a special kind of form builder tool, uh, which I'm not really fancy about because I don't like some of the pre-built stuff in Access, but it's a great way to just get a field, uh, a form going and show you how this relationship right here was automatically understood by the database. It recognized that every contact has a list of visitations. So if I have another day that came up that I wanted to put in here for this person, I could just go ahead, we'll say like a couple Sundays ago they came, to a PM church service. I can just add it and it automatically knows, as you can see, you don't see a church ID value in this table right here because every single value is related to this number one up here. So if I actually go back to my visitation table, you'll notice it added that new record right here. And there's the note, there's the one for that contact. So I'm going to change this view to just the regular form view because this is the view. I'm going to hide this tab. Um, this is the view that you get for just regular database entry. Now this may be enough for some people if they just want to keep track of this stuff and be able to go back and look at one person. Me personally, I don't really like that concept. And later on, I'm going to do more to this application and I may even end up not using this pre-built stuff because I'm going to be doing a lot of custom stuff that I want to do with my application. Uh, so uh, a lot of this might just get thrown away, but I, I did want to show you how those relationships automatically get picked up by the database. Uh, another cool thing here is if I go, on the, uh, you'll also notice you have these little record navigator thingy majiggies. Um, you can go to the next record, which we don't have a next record, but if I click on it, it basically just goes to a new record. Okay, and so if I go in here and I put Joe Smith, you notice that that number automatically got populated uh, to number two. Even though the record's not saved, that's what that little pencil thing means over there, that the record's not saved. So if you were to turn this off, this information wouldn't be in your database. So I'll put 555, uh, Mary Grove, and let's make up a name of the place. And let's say he lives in apartment 5. And, oh, now my state and city thing are messed up. They're not in the right order. And that's probably because that time when I moved that field, and it, it, it moved the tab order of how these records go. So I'm going to have to fix that. Um... Uh, let's try Chicago, and I'm just going to click on Illinois, and give it a postal code of, I don't know what Illinois postal codes are, I don't know Illinois phone numbers, but we'll make something up, and then we'll put another fake email in here, jsmith at uh, email.com. Now, if I click in this table down here, it should save this record up here because this piece of information 
is separate from this piece of information down here. Even though they're both on the same page, they don't get saved together. So if I go to my contacts database, you can tell there's no contact there. But as soon as I click in here, I bet you with my contacts table, well, it doesn't show it. But if I close it and reopen it, you can see my new record there now. That's because you don't see a pencil here anymore. It's been saved. And we can save a date of church for this person. Say AM church service last Sunday. And um, go over to our visitation dates table and refresh this. Is there like a refresh button? Uh, no, I have to kind of close it and open it which I don't like, but we'll do it anyways. And here's our new record for Joe right here. This number two shows that it's a record that belongs to Joe and not to the other contact that I put here with my name on it. So if I go back with this record selector on the bottom, you'll see me and all mine, and it doesn't show the record for him. If I go to him, it shows his stuff and his records. And that's how that referential integrity works. And as you can tell, uh, it automatically keeps those things together because of this relationship right here. Very cool. That's pretty cool for out of the box. I mean, I think I've been talking about this for 15 minutes, and uh, this is how far we've got so far.